For over a decade, Andy Mark has donated the kit of parts chassis to first robotics teams who want it. We are going into our ninth year of the AM1 for You series chassis, and this year's chassis, the AM1 for You 5. But we added a couple new improvements encoder mounting on all the output shaft holes, more ground clearance for mechanums, and more compatibility with a three motor gearbox. New for the AM1 for U5, we've added encoder mount holes around all the output shafts. So you can see these pairs of 1032 holes around every possible output shaft hole. These allow you to mount an encoder mount pad or another encoder with a two inch bolt circle such as the REV through bore encoder. We've also got slots that allow the wires to go back inside the chassis and a small hole here to zip tie the wire to the slot for strain relief. One of the changes from the AM1 for U4 to the AM1 for U5 is it allows you to mount the Toughbox Micro on what's normally the outside rail. The reason we did this is because now you can use two outside rails in your chassis when making mechanum configurations to allow you more ground clearance as you can eliminate this bump on the inside plate. Another distinctive feature is this little notch up here. This, along with these two holes, allows the shaft of a sim motor to protrude slightly through the plate because some gearboxes are too skinny. These two are for the Toughbox Mini. This one can be used with three motor upgrade kits that have a third sim motor up here. Another improvement we made this year is switching the outboard bearing from a hex bearing to a round bearing. The shaft now has a matching shoulder on it for the round bearing, and those go together pretty easily. This will help you from having to time your hex when putting on the end sheet to get everything aligned, the, the round bearing just slips in no matter the orientation of the shaft. The bearings should snap in like so. The shaft also now has a quarter inch hole in either end, allowing you to take your magnet or dowel pin and put it in the outside or the inside, depending on which encoder and location for the encoder you want to use. This being the fifth revision of this chassis, we really feel like we've dialed into a concept that works great for teams and is easy to assemble. All the things you know and love about the U4 are still in here. We've just incorporated a couple little tweaks to make it slightly easier for you guys to assemble.